Hi there! Welcome to my channel English Byte. Today, I am going to discuss one of the competencies in English STEM based from uh, Most Essential Learning Competencies Quarter 1 which is uh, entitled How to Use Information from News Reports in Everyday Life. But before that, kung ikaw ay bago pa lang sa channel na to, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell in order to be updated, and of course, please share also. Now, let us proceed to our topic. Uh, our topic today is about the first lesson in the first quarter of English 10 based from the most essential learning competencies or MALC entitled how to use information from news reports in everyday life all right this video is intended for grade 10 students based from the MLC of English 10 quarter 1 from most essential learning competencies. 65,000 COVID cases recorded in the Philippines. The Department of Health announced Saturday that over 2,000 more COVID-19 cases have been confirmed, bringing the country's case load to more than 65,000. The Department of Health said that 2,357 new persons have been diagnosed with COVID-19. The nationwide tally now stands at 65,304 as of 4 p.m. Saturday with total active cases at 41,464 and most of the new cases were from Metro Manila at 1,824. Now, you should be aware that the government, particularly the Department of Health, has issued prohibitions and protocols in order to control and stop the spread of coronavirus throughout the country. Maraming mga pinapalabas na mga memorandum at mga provisions ang Department of Health para makontrol at mapigil ang paglaganap nitong coronavirus o tinatawag natin na COVID-19. Now as a student, what are the things you should know about coronavirus and how can you protect yourself, your family, and your community from this menace? Bilang estudyante, ano-ano ang mga bagay na dapat mong malaman? At paano mo mapoproteksyonan ang iyong sarili, ang iyong pamilya, at ang iyong komunidad laban sa salot na to. Coronavirus disease or COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. This is based from World Health Organization. Most people infected with the COVID-19 virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness. Karamihan daw sa mga tao na infecta, uh, infected nitong COVID-19 ay nakakaranas ng mild to moderate respiratory illness na hihirapang huminga and recover without requiring special treatment. Nakaka-recover din sila kahit na hindi sila mabigyan ng tamang gamot. Older people and those with underlying medical problems like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory diseases, and cancer are more likely to develop serious illness. Yun daw may mga edad na mga tao na may mga problema sa kanilang uh, baga, may diabetes, at may chronic respiratory disease. Karamihan dito yung mga weak lungs. At yung may cancer, sila yung madaling dapuan nitong, sakit na, nitong uh, virus na ito. Now, Protect yourself and others from infection by washing your hands or using an alcohol, uh, alcohol-based rub frequently and not touching your face. Ang sabi rito, dapat mo daw protection ng iyong sarili. At ang iba pang, uh, dapat mo protection ng iyong sarili. At ang iba pa, mula sa infection sa pangamagitan ng madalas na paghugas ng iyong mga kamay at paggamit ng alcohol at huwag hahawakan ang iyong muka dahil yan ang madalas na uh, 
maging madapuan ng virus na ito. The COVID-19 virus spreads primarily through droplets of saliva. Ito raw COVID-19 ay uh, naisasalin sa pamamagitan ng mga patak ng mga laway na tumatalsik. Uh, discharged from the nose, lumalabas sa ilong. When an infected person coughs, uh, lumalabas sa ilong kapag ka nagbabahin pag umuubo. So it's important that you also practice respiratory etiquette. Dapat ay nagiging maingat sa ating mga ginagawa. For example, by coughing into a flex elbow. Kapag umuubo, dapat ay naka umuubo ka sa iyong siko. Yung parang nakaganon. Yan. And then These are the symptoms. Ito yung mga sintomas ng mga nakakaroon ng COVID-19 disease. Itong ubo, cough, bluish lips, yung labi, at saka yung muka. Merong lagnat, trouble in breathing, nahihirapang huminga, and then pressure in chest, nahihinikip ang dibdib, at inability to arose, nahihirapang gumising sa umaga. Now, as a student, what are the things you should do and what are the things you should uh, avoid in order to protect yourself? Uh, bilang estudyante, ano-ano ang mga dapat na ginagawa mo at ano yung mga bagay na dapat iniiwasan para maprotektahan ang iyong sarili? Your family, and your community. So, ang iyong pamilya, pati na ang komunidad, dapat ay maprotektanan din. Okay. Una, ay dapat ay magsuot ng uh, face mask. Always wear face mask when going out of your house. Patuwing lalabas ng bahay, dapat ay nakasuot palagi ng face mask. What else? Now, Frequently, wash your hands. Palaging uhugasan ang kamay gamit ang sabon para matanggal yung mga dumi at kung anumang virus na meron dyan sa kamay. What else? Observe social distancing. Kapag ikaw ay nasa karamihan ng tao, dapat ay mag-observe ng social din distancing. At least one meter or more apart. Huwag magdidikit-dikit. And then another is, yan ganito, pagka nagsosocial distancing, kahit na nagkukwentuhan, dapat ay may merong distance. At least one or more than one meter ang layo sa bawat isa. Ayan, katulad dito, kapag naglalakad, nasa downtown, uh, ikaw ay nasa pedestrian lane, dapat, dapat ay nag observe din ng social distancing. Huwag didikit sa sinusundan. Dapat ay malayo ang distance katulad nito. Next, during lockdown, follow the rules, guidelines, and protocols during lockdown. Ang Department of Health at ang uh, MDRRM ay may binipinapalabas na mga rules, guidelines, and protocols na dapat sundin para maiwasan ang paglaganap uh, na nitong uh, coronavirus. And then, gagamit palagi ng alcohol at saka face mask. Palagi magdadala kung saan ka man pupunta, dapat sa iyong bulsa ay may daladala kang alcohol. Next, Always stay at home. Dapat, kung wala ka rin lang importanteng gagawin sa labas, huwag nang lalabas, manatili lang sa loob ng bahay para hindi ka mahawa at para ligtas ang lahat, pati ang iyong buong pamilya. Ayan. Dapat, kung tayo ay dapat ay susunod sa ating... Uh, Pamahalaan, pag sinabing stay at home, ay stay at home talaga. Do not go out. 
to go with your friends, to play outside, avoid those things because you are endangering yourself as well as your family. Next. Iwasan ding pumasok sa mga building kung akala mo ikaw ay nakakaramdam ng sintomas ng coronavirus. Do not try to enter buildings, ah, yung mga offices, any business, establ etab, uh, any business establishment in order to avoid the uh, spreading coronavirus. Because you are not only endangering yourself and your family but also the whole community. So avoid going outside. Okay, do not enter office, building, or any business establishment if you have symptoms of coronavirus. Now, for your output, you are going to write a paragraph of not less than 10 sentences on a piece of paper on how you can protect yourself, your family, and your community based on the news report about COVID-19. Now, if you are having difficulty, you review this video because the answers are there. And then you are going to write your answer in a piece of paper. And then you are going to take picture of your output and then send it through messenger to your subject teacher for checking and evaluation. Because we are doing this in this uh, online learning kasi bawal sa atin ngayon ang face to face kaya online ang ating sistema ng education so what you need to do is just watch this video and then you should take photo of your answer your quiz or your output and then send it to your teacher through messenger that is for evaluation and checking. Now, here is the rubric for evaluation. For completeness, able to write one to five sentences. That's one point. Two points, able to write six to nine sentences. And three points, able to write ten sentences. Feasibility, one to five sentences are feasible under the rules and provisions of the Department of Health. Two points, six to nine sentences are able are feasible under the rules and provisions of the Department of Health. And then three points, ten sentences are feasible under the rules and provisions of the Department of Health. Now for organization and clarity of ideas. One point, one to five sentences are written with 50% level of clarity and organization of ideas. And for two points, Six to, nine, six to nine sentences are written with 80% level of clarity and organization of ideas. And three points, ten sentences are written with 100% level of clarity and organization of ideas. Now, if you have learned something in this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell in order to be updated, and of course, please share also. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.